there. It's time for Lunch and Learn. Today I want to talk about goal setting and how by having a goal you have a direction of where you're going. You wouldn't get up in the morning and try to drive to work if you didn't know where you were going. You have to have a goal. And big goals like we have for this practice to become one of the best pain practices in North Texas require a lot of commitment. But to get there, the path is made up of a lot of small goals that we achieve on a daily basis. So we'll be setting up our long-term goal for the practice, but first we have to set up our daily goals and then we have to work on our weekly goals and then we'll have our monthly goals. Those goals will play into our quarterly goals, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to send everybody a wonderful story by a motivational speaker named Trey Dyer later today and I'll load it up on Dropbox so you can each listen to it and understand it. He tells a story about riding in a bike race 150 miles with no preparation and he made it through by just focusing on the major goal that it was to help raise money for MS and the short-term goal of getting to the next rest stop. So our first goal for the entire practice, and this is one of the, the medium goals, is improve customer satisfaction. Now the daily goals will be to focus on having less errors made in medications and refill medications. So that will be our daily and weekly goal to track how many phone calls we get regarding medication problems patients had because either our systems or our people or both didn't work properly. That includes me, the physician, and getting the things done, okay? So our first goal for everybody is to focus on making sure that we're being very diligent with the medications and getting them sent in on time and properly the first goal for the practitioners, myself, Tiffany, and Gary, will be to try to find at least five injection patients a day. Now, that sounds like a large goal, but like any goal, it starts off in small pieces, trying to find those goals by talking to every patient whether they could benefit from an injection. And by the end of the day, we'll have a tally or a record of how many we got that day. And by the end of the week, we'll take the number of days multiplied times five and see if we've met our goal. So if Gary works two and a half days, that would be 12 and a half procedures. Good luck on getting a half procedure, Gary. For Tiffany, it would be 25 patients a week. And the same would be for me. So I'll share a lot more about goal setting and long-term strategies but today's goals for the entire office is improved customer satisfaction and the short term goal is medication error reduction. <clears throat> There'll be other goals regarding patient satisfaction in our next video. For the providers, it is to start discussing with and planning and scheduling injections. One more note to the providers. I have set up an extensive PowerPoint presentation, but it really only works if we do it face-to-face -face or by Skype. So I need each of the providers, Gary and Tiffany, to contact me so we can set that up as soon as possible uh, for me to go over with the presentation point by point and help explain the slides. Thank y'all. Everybody have a great day. And yes, I got a cold.